Hey everyone, welcome back to Data Products with R. In this video, we're going to update our Shiny app that we worked on in the last video. Um, we had an awesome app that I was spending a little, too much time on looking at uh, injury statistics from the R's. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to polish it because it was kind of long. Um, like you had to scroll down to see stuff. Um, and the different table outputs for different lengths, yada, yada, yada. So we're going to polish it up a little bit. Um, so because I ran so much into our lecture time, I ran about 30 minutes last time, uh, let's get into it and let's see if we can speed it up a little bit. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start out with our, we're just going to modify our last code. Uh, we're not going to rewrite all this. Um, we're just going to add and remove things. So under the product codes part right here, um, we're going to add a couple of lines of code. So we're going to add uh, injuries. We're going to pipe down. And we're going to say mutate uh, diagnosis equals FCT lump, um, which you can see a family are lumping together together levels to meet some criteria. <coughs> I'm going to say F ct underscore infrequent so we're going to lump all the infrequent diagnoses together uh, where n equals five and then we're going to group by diagnosis um, and then we are going to summarize but we're going to spell summarize correctly. We're going to say n as integer sum weight. And then we're going to count just the top diagnoses. And we're going to create a function uh, df bar n equals 5. Open our function. F, pipe down, um, mutate, var, oops, and then we're going to, oops, uh, that's not right, mutate, var, and then we're going to do if equals FCT lump, FCT infrequent var n equals n. We'll get into this when we uh, look at the app. Group by. Summarize n equals as integer sum weight three. Oops. Okay. Now we're going to leave our UI all the same. Um, but we're going to change our server up here. So this previous output here, we're going to get rid of. So I'm just going to hash it out um, for right now before we, I'll delete it at the end because we're just gonna build a better one. Um, just so you can kind of see for comparison sake. Um, okay, so we're gonna say output, diagnosis, Render table, count top, selected. Type diagnosis with equals 100%. So we want it to stretch uh, the entire length of the table, table or the app, I should say. 
output body part under table count top selected body underscore part width equals 100% Output location under table count top selected location it equals one oh, put in quotes <coughs> excuse me holy cow hundred percent okay so you can see we just uh, modified uh, what we previously had. Um, <clears throat> where we've changed the width, in essence. All right, so um, I'm going to save as. So we didn't start a uh, new R file, right? So if you go to save as, I'm gonna create a new folder, a new ER sample two. Open, and I'm gonna hit save. Uh, so this is so we can still have our previous one to see the differences. That. Um, oh. Okay. So I did don't have because I blocked it out. You don't have to. Um, so I need to copy. Pick up my examples. Um, my niece data because I can't read it since I'm in a new file now. Um, so I'm gonna do example two. See if you open this, there's nothing in it for some reason. I don't know why that happens. Um, so I'm just going to paste this here. Uh, so I can stand this here. Okay. So let's run it now. Hey, no typos. Okay. So as you can see, this looks a lot cleaner. You lose a little bit, but it still looks a lot cleaner. So what did we do? So what we did is we said, oops, I select that, it's going to my uh, table. So if you can see here, um, I don't know why the mouse is not really showing up over here. Um, I don't know, don't know what to say. Um, so if you look at the entries line here, um, what we did is we said, okay, we're going to mutate and we're going to create a function where the infrequent diagnoses outside of the top five are lumped together. So if you look over at the other here, you see we have laceration, avulsion, puncture, other not stated, contusion or abrasion, and then just other. That lumps everything together that is not in the top five. Um, and so if we change this to toilets, uh, change this to anything, what we're doing is we're saying, instead of having that big long list where we had like, you know, you had to scroll way down, um, if it's not in the top five, we're gonna put it in a, its new category, we're gonna mutate it and put it into other. Um, and so that's essentially what we did with these um, two functions at the top here. And then what we did at the, um, the output here is we changed the uh, diagnosis to be standard size printout here, right? And so um, previously we had different size lists, etc. cetera. Uh, so now our render table is based on this count top we had we created where it's only the top five plus the other um, and so our lists now are just six categories right so our top five whatever they may be depending on what our product is um, and then our other category so we we could change the how we compute 
the input, so everything that the server um, aspect or the server uh, backend is going to look at, so we computed that, and then we have to tell it how to print out, right? And so uh, we had to change this down at the bottom here to say, okay, don't just show everything. Show count top now instead of showing just the count um, because our count top was only the six categories um, and then make the width 100. Um, so for each, fill out each column uh, all the way so it fits nicely. Uh, 10 minutes, uh, yeah. It's pretty good, right? Uh, so, like I said, this can be a quick video. We're gonna we're gonna do a couple iterations of this. Um, so, as you can see now, um, we've got a slightly nicer video, or nicer video, slightly nicer app um, that's a little more aesthetically pleasing. You lose a little bit of data um, in that we're not able to pull out those other things, right? So we say see other, um, and we don't know what the other is. So that's a conundrum uh, that you're gonna have to think about yourself, right? So like, if you are like, well, I think it's better to show all the data versus do I want this to be more aesthetic? Are people really gonna worry about um, burning themselves under the face? Like that was one of the weird ones I pointed out last time. Like, is it more about the important, the top things um, as it is compared to uh, the very rare, rare occurrences, the one in a million things? Um, so that's up to you. Like that's uh, there is an art to the data products uh, idea of, of displaying data and what story you want to tell. Um, but this looks a lot more aesthetically pleasing, right? It's a lot more user friendly. Uh, you don't have to scroll down to see the graphs. You know, you don't want to be in a situation where um, somebody's looking at your app and you've made this beautiful graph that displays at the bottom, um, like we had with the male and female age range and number of incidents. And they never see it because they never scroll down. They didn't realize you can't scroll down. Um, so different things to weigh. Um, so with that, uh, we're going to modify it more in the next video. Uh, we'll make these short little snippets uh, to kind of as we go um, so we can save our iterations. Um, so I hope you liked this video um, and saw that um, we can use this function. Um, the um, Why is it? Slipping my, uh, the infrequency, um, it, counting the infrequency to uh, limit our infrequent counts uh, and then to display them uh, in our shiny app. So if you're watching on YouTube, please hit like, please hit subscribe. Uh, we'll modify it more in the next video. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and I'll catch you in the next one.